800 houses and 200 apartments are coming soon to the Catalina foothills, but some foothills neighbors are worried about how it's going to affect the wash's natural habitat. Kega 9's Andrew Christensen spoke with them about some of the changes they're hoping developers make. So when the developers build in this area, this is what neighbors tell me that they're worried about is trees and shrubs in this area. And they say if these types of plants go away, then the wildlife and the water in this area might go too. Leslie Page is an avid bird watcher in the Pima Wash. It provides uh, water to recharge the water table. It provides shade. It helps to prevent some of the issues that are involved with urban heat sinks. It's an area she says helps animals and neighbors. We're not anti-development, but we are definitely pro-smart development. She says that includes considering whether the new development could hurt the riparian area. A lot of activity just in close proximity to this area is going to scare away the animals. But the Regional Flood Control District says the development doesn't disturb any intact riparian habitat except for a planned bridge to Oracle Road. Page says the developers should lower the number of apartments and houses. To reduce the footprint and back away from the riparian area, not build so closely. The developer UIP Quail Canyon 1 says the county made them lower their planned houses by 20 and say they're not building in the wash. Joan Scott, who lives in the foothills, is still worried about wildlife corridors. So that wildlife can get from the Catalinas to the corridor in the Rideau River. To separate the Wash's wildlife corridor, the developer says they're building a Gabion Bank protection. But Scott says new neighbors would also disturb the wildlife. It has more uh, people, it has more light, it has more noise. The developers say they're using warm outdoor lighting, low-level path lighting, and motion sensors. And like I mentioned, that bridge is going to be impacting some of the riparian habitat. And the Regional Flood Control District tells me that they're going to require the developers to plant a certain amount of shrubs and trees in this area to make up for it. And they say that even though they have this new development in this area, the new development is actually going to let wildlife pass more freely through this area. Reporting on Rudisell and Oracle Roads in Tucson, Andrew Christensen, KGUN 9.